Uh, hello there. This is Fallout 1. Played on Steam. So recently I've figured out a way to uh, get some things with my streaming, my recording, audio. Way higher quality, as you can see. So uh, we're going to try playing Fallout 1. It's an RPG released in 1997, essentially about the aftermath of World War III. You know, that happened. A bunch of nukes dropped. Everybody died. That was fun. So... This is the aftermath, and seeing what one Vault Dweller has to put up with. Sorry, new game. So, the game do does give you three special sort of characters. Max, Natalia, and Albert. Uh, unfortunately, they aren't very good, so we can create a new character. It's admittedly a lot to take in, so... Let's start at the beginning. I don't know, uh, first thing that popped into my head. Things like your name, age, don't really matter. Gender does have a slight effect on the game. So... First off, let's go with some optional traits real quick. So there's a bunch of them that... They are good in some situations, but... Ultimately, they're just really situational. Stuff like one-hander. You know, one of your hands is good, one-handed weapons, uh, two are kind of crappy. Fun fact, did you know that all the good guns are uh, two-handed? Yep. However, there is one that is uh, very good. Gifted. In exchange for your skills leveling up a little slower, your all of these, uh, they can increase by one. I highly recommend going for this, unless you're doing like some sort of, like, challenge playthrough, I guess, but anyway, we're gonna put some stats into these. Perception's a biggie since, you know, guns and all. High skills you need for a sharpshooter. Endurance will leave as is. Charisma will take one out of. It doesn't need much in it. Intelligence is very good to have lots of, so we'll go with eight. And agility and luck, not as important, so we can put one in each. As for your tag skills, what I'm personally going to go with is lockpick, science, and speech, since they they all just generally have very important effects on the game itself. So, without further ado, let's begin. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? Here we are, the outside of Vault 13. So as you saw in the cutscene, uh, lack of a water chip, that's going to be a pretty big problem, I have to say. So we have to get on that. We have 150 days to do so. First off, we're going to inspect this fellow's body. Uh, seems like he had a bit of a uh, 
difficult time surviving against these uh, small rats that you can easily kill with a single bullet. Speaking of which, I'm going to equip my gun. See ya. Oh, uh. Oh, it did hit him, but it just didn't do any damage, unfortunately. So, uh, go ahead, hit him again. Move on ahead. So, as you can see, isometric sort of thing, and hit chances, percentages for hit chances, that sort of thing. It's, it's a bit hard to explain, though it is self-explanatory when you look at it. Overall, very classic RPG. As of right now, we're just shooting large rats with a uh, oversized handgun. Uh, I, th I think it's kind of big, but whatever the case, uh, we just missed a rat. Come on, James, you got this. I missed again. They are a bit small, so I can definitely understand why he keeps missing. Though, uh, holding up with a single pan probably isn't doing him any favors. Regardless, we're out of here. To the west, you can see natural light. For the first time in your life, you're looking at the outside world. First, uh, wait, no, that's not the, uh, that's not the save menu. I'm just going to save my game real quick. Number one. Saving over some old files. And here we go. To the outside world. So, over in this direction, we have Vault 15. That's where we're going to find it. Or at least hopefully find the water chip. From here. You just move on ahead. There is a town along the way that we're going to be stopping by. It should be close. Yep, there it is. Unknown. Welcome to Shea Sand Stranger. Please hold to that weapon while you're here. No problem, buddy. Alright, so. This is our first town. Shady Sands. There's, admittedly, not a lot to do here, but... We still can do a bit of bartering. Good morning. I, I'm called Seth. How can I help you? I don't know about, about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. We have our own integration, integration system, so we can grow our own food. If we were plagued with rares and rat scorpions, we would have no problems. Scorpions, those damn rat scorpions have been after our breath, and since we moved here, not a week goes by if that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. Last week they... oof. Uh, oh, thanks. How about some barding? Let, let, let's see what this fella's got. Okay, so... You want my adv uh, advisation? Uh, sell, sell your drugs. Sell whatever drugs you have on you. Actually, maybe not that. What is a water can good for? Okay, mainly I don't really want to sell those. I will admit. First aid kit. That's about two hundred. Yep, uh, that's going to be a all two. That's seventy offer. Yeah, that's a good trade. That man now has two flares. We have both a rope and some bottle caps. So we're going to do some wandering around. Fairly desert village. What's in here? Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm James. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. What do you do here? Guard for the merchants, the hub. Shot during the rain over bats. Darn. Said world makes me useful here. I'll thought a bit. Coming offer. Tell you what. Standard rates, 100 caps. Alright. Surely. Let's go. It's good to get back into action. This is Ian. The first of, I believe, four or so companions. He's good with pistols, SMGs, even though you, though you don't want to give him the ladder because he's maybe a little reckless with them. Might shoot you in the back. But still, he's a good fellow. And it'll always be nice to have companions around, since he does start with a pistol. 
So, for the time being, with all this introduced, I think I'm going to end recording for the time being. Saving in a new slot. Saving game already exists. Overwrite. Two. Next time, we're gonna go deal with those rad scorpions that person mentioned. In any case, thank you for watching, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.